Heidi Ho, guys and gals, Jeff King here with the Denna Tools, well, mobile edition, if you will. And I know you're asking yourself, how is that one tool? Let me see if I can get it focused. Eh, maybe it'll focus. Who knows? How is this one thing going to change and revolutionize how I use tools? Well, what if it wasn't just him? What if he brought some of his friends to play as well? We're going to show you this because this, I've seen a lot of gimmicks before. Boy, have I seen a lot of gimmicks. And yeah, it's kind of a gimmick, but you know what? It's also kind of a game changer. Well, there we go. So what we got here, and there's a bunch of people selling these on Amazon. I, I'm not gonna lie to you. Uh, but this one got me, I think the most with the with the nicest carabiner. This has got a, a locking carabiner, which this is not like your climbing carabiner or anything like that. We unscrew it down here and allows us to open it up. And these are dead simple. I mean, there's, there's really not much to it, which kind of makes you wonder, why did it take so long for someone to figure this out? So what do we got there? Let me see if we can focus on it. There we go. This is essentially one eight or a hex bit holder, just like that. It uses uses the pull rather than push to get it to work, and to put one in. Simply line it up. Oh, you gotta pull, I guess. Pull, drop it in, and there you go. And this will not come out easily. <laughs> All right, it, it's just simple physics on this. Now, I don't know how many bits you have. I have DeWaltz, DeWaltz, more DeWaltz. We got some checked in here. Uh, of course, can't forget my uh, my security bit set. Got that. Um, what else we got? We got I got some wear bits in here. I, I got some some Weha as well. Oh, can't forget the Chapman kind of stuff. Oh, of course, the new Icon. We got that as well. I probably. Oh wait, no wait. We got gear wrench and. I got some Sonics. So that, that's just the ones we have here on the road. <laughs> so I got some bits. But when I go to do a job like this, this is gonna get me most of my bits. But do I wanna carry this box around with me all the time? Or do I, look at this, this is, this is gonna have everything. I got all my security bits and stuff like that. But I don't wanna carry this thing, look at this. I don't wanna carry that, it's like a fit in my pocket or something. This is all right, but this case, this case sucks. This thing's fantastic. I, I love this. This will fit in a pocket. It's gonna have most of your bits. It's kind of bulky though. This thing, well, we're gonna talk about this in another video. Anyway, so we got bits, bits, and more good bits. So why do I need this? Well, I've got them kind of color coded. So, so my red ones, Red ones are the flat tip. And we got hex there. Blue is Phillips. And green are my extensions. I'm using one of those, or my longer ones. So I could take this and I could pull up and I could say, you know, I could organize them based on color. All right, I'm gonna go. All right, let's uh, let's get this one out. I'm gonna go on a job. I'm not gonna need a Phillips. So just drop the Phillips like that. And I say, I'm gonna need some security bits like this. Get them logged in there. These things are not coming out. I can just throw it on my ring. Lock it in place. Now I have the set I'm carrying with me. These things, they're not not—they're not the most industrial grade. I don't know, what do you think? Or do you use something like this? Is this something that you would keep in your setup? Let's take them off here, so give you a better look at what we're talking about. Do you use any D-ring? I've got, I always have a D-ring on my, my keys. There are my keys over here. I always have a D-ring on there so I can throw it on there. 
I could mix and match my different colors. What do you think? Is this something you would use? Well, as I said, I, I get a lot of gimmicks. And this did at first, you know, when I first saw this, I was scrolling through a bunch. Like, they have the, the wrist wrap stuff and the things that go on your... Uh, on your, uh, your your drill driver and stuff like that, or even the one that comes with most of them where it snaps on the back, like down near the battery kind of stuff. I've never liked putting, well, I hate putting things on, on my wrist. I, I don't wear a watch or anything like that. That's just me. Um, but I, I, I hate having things on my tools. I like my tools to be as small and compact as possible. I don't, I buy them usually to get as compact as possible and I don't want to build them up or something. You know, if you got a set like this, there's a ton of stuff you could use it with. You know, one of my favorite tools here is the, uh, the wear screwdriver. This thing, this thing's fantastic. With one of these, you know, I just come up here, drop the bit into my hand and you know, you're ready to go. The, um, now, the one thing I was kind of, con I don't know, concerned isn't the right word. I, w I was hoping that they were the push kind, but I could see because the push, if you drop it, it would get hit. You could lose a bit or something like that. They're the pull kind. Now, that makes it, you know, you're like, how do you do that with like one hand or something? You're not, you're not going to do that. With, I guess you could. You get your finger in there and pull it like that and drop it in your hand. I actually just did it. Uh, but the way I normally do it is I, I grab the ring. Um, and then I grab it like this with my hand cupped around it, pull, and it just drops into my hand, which makes it great because if I got it on a belt clip, I can just reach back there, grab the one I want. I can usually feel the tip that I'm looking for. I uh, pull it e easy now. It's a family channel. <laughs> pull it, and, and I got the bit that I want. I can see this because I do a lot of stuff. You know, when when you're a tool guy, a lot of people will uh, <laughs> you'll get that phone call. Um, how do I? fix this and then you know if i mention what they're really asking is can you come over and fix it anyway <laughs> so i i often have a lot of stuff that i have to take with me or not a lot of stuff i have a lot of stuff to go through but i don't want to take everything with me this is a great way grab and go kind of stuff i can keep my essentials on it if i'm gonna do a particular job i can sort it for the job i could even i bet you could buy different ones like all in one color and i could have all phillips in one color and all uh you know flat well slotted in and another and all my hex bits in another this could be an interesting way of organizing a case i may see about especially for mobile stuff you know things you're taking with you on the road things you're throwing in a bag things you want to put on your belt loop anyway let me know what you think down in the comments below that's all i got for you today you all take care god bless and as always shine on